Sony covered. Uh, they shot of a couple other games, but you know they really weren't that interesting. Yeah, we didn't care. And the, the whole con- quote unquote controversy, which is not a controversy. If you play video games, you kill people all the time. But moving away from. Uh, actual video games going over to something with GameStop and normally when we talk about GameStop it's always in a negative way Yeah, GameStop is very corporate and very anti-consumer but they came up with a program that sounds pretty good right now yes it's so a- this is how this program works for 60 bucks for 6 months you're able to go into GameStop and pick up any used game and take it home and play it for as long as you want you can come in swap it out for another game you can literally probably I don't know if they haven't had the all the details, but I'm pretty sure you can swap out a game every day if you felt yeah, like it. Yeah, exactly. And at the end of the six months, you're allowed to keep any of those games that you checked the, out. The last game, I think. No, yeah. no, I said any of the games. Oh, any, even better. Wow. So, so any of the games that you checked out during that six months period, you get to keep. And I'm sure if they don't have them in stock, I'm pretty sure eventually once they get it used, so, they get it. The way that's explained, that's a pretty good deal. $60, I mean, for for uh, families, and your kid always wants a new game, and if there's a GameStop within close proximity of you. I just, my goodness, how did GameStop come up with it? I mean, not mind that GameStop, but uh, yeah, is it? Yeah, GameStop. GameStop, GameStop, I was right. How did they come up with this idea? Because they were so terrible marketing-wise. I don't know how they came up with this good idea. Someone must have gave it to them from the outside. This is pretty amazing, and if it turns out to be this way. The only thing I can, that GameStops aren't necessarily, I mean, where we live, the closest one is like... It's too far. It's to like go. it's about like twenty miles away, and yeah. I can't make up excuses to go out there to keep swapping games in and out. No. But we used to live in a place where we were almost walking distance. Yeah, it would have been a long walk, but it would have been. It would have been worth doing then. If yeah. we would have lived in that place, definitely we would have did it. The only I can see some potential pitfalls because this is uh, GameStop. They do shenanigans. Yeah. What if you check out some games and then they kind of don't let you? Oh, we don't have that used game in stock, and they do, and they're just lying to you. Because they've done crap like yeah. that. That's what I'm saying. I would, if you if you do live in a GameStop, my only advice to you is wait and let other people do it. And if these things happen, they talk about it on YouTube, then we'll get word of mouth if that's what they're doing. And then I wouldn't do it. But if nothing seems to go wrong, and this is going on for like three, four weeks, and you don't hear anything on the internet, that's a bad thing. Yeah, it's called the Power Pass. Oh. And it looks pretty decent. And 60 bucks, when you think about it, or let's say you rent four or five games... Once a month, you even if you did once, yeah, once a month, you end up with six games. You get to pick one of those games at the end. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's still a good deal, even if you didn't get to pick a game. But picking the game makes it phenomenal. Makes it a phenomenal deal because you know, even like these AAA games, I guarantee you today you could probably get Assassin's Creed Origins. Someone's had to have turned that in. Oh yeah, there's always people that that are always turning over their games. They get a new game, they get bored, they turn it in. So you can get a game potentially that's a used game for forty bucks. Get it after you played a bunch of those. I think it's a great deal. And the fact is, they have a list, and other that you pick from that list of games, did so you don't even have to keep that new game. Yeah, you can get it since you had it on your list. So I think that's incredible. I'm just hoping they don't do something. Oh, it, only games. It, it can't be any new games that really. They haven't had all the details, but I know GameStop is notorious for these. Please don't mess it up. It sounds so make good it right now. Any used game. Don't yeah. like. Oh, if the game has been released in the first three weeks, you can't pick that game. No, don't do anything like that. Don't. I'm just I'm just guessing at the kind of craziness they might do. Yeah, because let's just keep it to what it, cause what it sounds like on the, t- the face sounds amazing. Don't uh, meddle the, it. Don't the program meddle starts it. on the 19th, so if any of you guys out there do it and you like it, you know, let us know because it's just too far away for us to actually get any real value out of it. Yeah, if it was a lot closer, believe me, we would have done it. We would have told you ourselves. So, so definitely 60. Hey, I like it. GameStop. Again, I see pitfalls, maybe potential ones. Or what if it's too successful and then they're kind of then GameStop is getting screwed, and then, then they have to change the way the program works, or they up the price. Well, but at the same time, but that but that that shows a product that's a good thing. And say maybe instead of doing that, do other things in other sense. Like oh, maybe if you if we if we up it up a little bit more money, you get to get two games at the end. Like try to spice it up somehow, like swing it up. Because they got to do something. Don't make it a negative. Because people are GameStop is going to be around because parents tell their kids you can't get a new game unless you sell your old one, and that's how this place that's yeah. how GameStop stays in business. But more and more people are going to you know just digital downloads and stuff like that. So yeah. this is a this is a I think a good move for them. This is their first consumer centric thing where it's actually better for the consumer. Consumer friendly, yeah, yeah it's so hostile. Yeah. And the thing is, for GameStop, they really need to do this. I don't think this will save the company, but it's a nice step. If they start doing more things like this, maybe they can save GameStop. Maybe they can get out of the the, 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 the drugs they're in and out of chapter without going to bankruptcy, whatever. Yeah, and because they because GameStop's done all kinds of stupid crap. Like, 
cell phone accessories and like all kinds of the stupid crap they've been doing work. throughout the years. That's never going to work. This centered around games, something that gamers are going to get you walking yeah. into the store. And, and even selling like old games, which I think is a bad idea. Yeah, they got into the retro market. I don't know how well that's working out for I them. Think, I don't even think they don't even hear and about it. And the prices really. are kind of crappy. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just do hey, this. does that work on these games too? There are used games, right? Well, that'd be funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's on a Super Nintendo game. That'd be great. Well, hey, if it, <laughs> listen to this, what if it's a Chrono Trigger? What if it's one of those expensive games? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a caveat. I think it has to be. It can't. Um, well, I'm going to say I bet to be it can't exceed sixty dollars. Well, you know, game. someone's going to try to punch you. You know, shit, any game. Yeah. Oh, you know, I've seen events. That's all. <laughs> it's a three four hundred dollar game. That's all. That'd be pretty funny. That would be funny. 